Hey, what's up, guys? This is Josh from Nightmare on Woodsboro Lake. Today, I am joined by a very special guest. Uh, I'd like everyone to welcome on Jonathan Cherry. How are we doing, my friend? I'm fantastic. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm doing well. It's uh, 9 o'clock here, so I know we have a little bit of a time difference. Oh, where uh, are you? Oh, you're in the West Coast? I, yeah, I'm in Washington State. Okay, all right, right on. I'm in Florida right now. Oh, nice. I've, I've been there a few times. Uh, we caught a cruise out there. And also I went to Disney World one time, but that's about my extent of Florida. So, mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, thank you for agreeing to like to meet up and, and chat a little bit. I, I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, Thanks, man. Yeah, I know. I know most people will recognize you from from your the biggest one for most people is Final Destination 2. Mm -hmm. uh, which I love those movies. They always make me like worry because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> there, I feel like that movie, I mean, I, I, I constantly get uh, memes and people send me pictures. They take a picture of a truck with a lot logs on it and they send it to me <laughs> and barbed wire fences. People send to me often. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like, I don't know, maybe because they're making another final destination. Like it, it, it's come back it's like it's trending for some reason i feel like yeah, yeah um, i don't know it was yeah i was gonna say like i know that i've been hearing that they're making another one and then like i don't know if you saw the last one but it like came around like full circle in the last i did see it i did see it you like, know why i saw because i'm in it and i didn't and they they i, I got a phone call <laughs> that i'm that uh I guess about payment for being in this movie. And I was like, I don't remember. Did I, sh what? I'm dead. <laughs> oh, so shoot. I, I went to go check it out and it was a flashback, obviously. Okay. That it's been a while since I've seen it. I just remember like everything coming around and then them being on the flight. And then it happened to be flight 180. And mm. like, I was like, what? <laughs> like, it, it was like a total just mind blown. Like, <laughs> so what is it? What's the story? I guess it's like it turned into the, these were all prequels but yeah, they weren't I, because, because I, yeah. in mine on the radio they talk about flight 180 don't they in yeah. Final Destination 2 yeah like i i'm pretty sure they mentioned it on the radio and that and then like i don't know because like i when i was watching i'm like man it like nothing seems very updated like they didn't have fancy cell phones or anything and i didn't it didn't really click like that it was supposed so to be like ago. back in those days. So I was like, it's it so long ago. <laughs> right? Jeez. <laughs> That's crazy. 2003 was? Man. Man. Time has flown by. Holy crap. Um, yeah. um, and, and, you know, I know that you were in quite a few other movies. Like one that I like, it it hit me was, was Goon, the, yeah, the hockey movie. Um, mm -hmm. John William Scott. Um, and uh, Jay, I don't remember his talk Barishel. Barishel. I didn't want to yeah. mispronounce that, so thank you for doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean and I talked about um, Final Destination. Um, Sean was put in Final Destination because the producer, Craig Perry of Final Destination, produced American Pie and they did American Pie together. And then he he was like, This guy's gonna, this guy's gonna blow up we threw him in final destination yeah, was, yeah his death was pretty pretty brutal too the train tracks and then that piece of metal coming up and like taking yeah. his head off that was insane <laughs> but i mean i feel like yours was really brutal like how did it feel having such a like a, a brutal death like that in final destination too um i mean it was so fun to shoot right? like they it was well what they had to do was, you know, what's cool, actually, maybe I can get it. My parents, I'm staying at, I'm visiting my family right now. They have a photo album 
And I took all these Polaroids from the set, continuity Polaroids. This is before digital cameras and phones and stuff. So it was Polaroids of my death. I can, I'm going to go grab that actually. This will oh, be cool. Awesome. This will yeah. be a treat. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I just saw it yesterday and I, I took pictures of them because I was, I'm not going to take them, but I thought, yeah. um, where are they? I thought, I don't know, maybe I'll post this or yeah, something. That... People seem interested. Um, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. But uh, how did it feel? I mean, I'm on the other side of it. So it's <laughs> my only job was so basically they did a full body cast. And uh, when they put my head, I put my head through almost like a necklace that was my torso. So it's like I'm wearing it like that. And then I'm standing on a, on a step ladder. And I, you could see my posture is a bit weird if like you really slowed up. And then they click that torso on a slide into my middle part, my middle zone, my tummy, which is like six inches or eight inches. And then they had my legs. So my only job was wear a green screen suit. Do this, you know, with the, my, my cokey move. And then <laughs> uh, I look up and they blow air in my face and I just go, you know, or, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, uh, and then I just fall. And then there was a guy holding my mid zone with a stick and he pulls that out. And then the legs just stood there, but they got like the legs did something cool for them that that was, I don't know if, I think it maybe wasn't totally expected. Um, the way that they fell, like the, I remember the special effects guys were like pretty stoked about that. Oh man. I'm looking at like my original headshots and stuff like that. Jeez. <laughs> Trip down memory lane. <laughs> Oh, and there you go. My my girlfriend at the time, she's in the movie. Oh. She plays Sarah, one of the uh she dies in the car. She's we were dating. Oh, no way. During that movie. Oh. Yeah. Um like before that and then we got cast together uh randomly. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, there you go. This is, this is bonus. We're getting a real... Okay, here we go. Um, I can't really take these out. So there is... Oh, yeah. That's that's the, the car crash. Nice. Heck yeah. Um, are you interested in these? Or this you just placated yeah. me? Here's no, what I just no. talked about. Here's what I just talked about. You see the guy holding... I'm wearing a yeah. green screen outfit. I'm standing on a ladder. I look miserable. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy is holding my midsection. Wow. That's it. That's that's the that's wow. the gag, man. And then Oof. this is <laughs> that was just another Polaroid, and that's their notes on the Polaroid, which I think are pretty cool. Yeah. No, this is um, awesome. <laughs> and then oh, you'll love this. There's me standing after the gag was done with my guts pouring oh. out <laughs> that's freaking killer this is dope actually now that i and then yeah. yeah wow no this is awesome i've never never seen anything like this this is really cool yeah that's it that's what i got but th those are awesome huh yeah heck yeah that's that i was not expecting that 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 yeah. definitely was a bonus i, I <laughs> literally just saw this yesterday and i was like God bless my parents for saving this stuff. Right? They, they I've never been good at that. Like I've I've got all these chair backs that I, that they've given me that had my name on them, and I only have one, and it's from my worst movie I've ever done. What's my worst movie I've ever done? You you you're a horror guy. You would know. My worst movie. Oh. It don't and don't don't be shy. <laughs> Actually, no. You could you could f up here. You could you could say something that might hurt my feelings. <laughs> you know it was right around that time of final destination i'll say that was it house of the dead oh yeah baby bingo <laughs> but i just oh, went man. that came full circle actually because i went on to do well you said goon and then goon sort of got me cast in this movie wolf cop 
Um, uh, that came out like 2014. Yeah, did you see that? Yeah, it's been a while, but yeah, I've seen it. it it's okay, just so, I haven't rewatched it. So Wolf Cop um, hooked me up with Lowell Dean, who directed this wrestling movie that we were just talking about that I just did. And then I got Michael Eklund, who was in House of the Dead with me years and years ago. Um, we got to work together again in a dark match. He came in and did a, so we, I just finished working with Michael who played my buddy in, uh, in house of the dead. Yeah. It's always cool to have like, kind of like a reunion and, you know, get to. Yeah. Work yeah. Yeah. Him. I love uh, Michael. Yeah. But so, house of the dead is a, is a, is a, is a real, a real, a real turd. I, uh, I think it was like, Oh man. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I'd only been acting when I did Final Destination. I'd only been acting for under two years when I got that part. So like pretty, I, pretty. I, I got it pretty quickly. Like I dropped out of university, drove across Canada to go to Vancouver Film School with my best friend, graduated. Uh, took me about I don't know whatever long to get an agent, and then. Uh, and then within, yeah, within like, I don't know, like under, just under two years, I was on that set. And then, so I didn't really know what I was doing. Like, <laughs> I had no clue. And then House of the Dead came along and I started that the day after I finished Final Destination. And oh, wow. uh, I just trusted Uva Ball. So let's go. You know, oh, this is like, this is, yeah, you know, yeah. this is fun. <laughs> this is easy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame you at all. I mean, if, yeah, if I, I, if I was approached like right after coming off, like hot off a movie set, I'd probably be like, all right, let's go. You know? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I had so much, fun. I had a lot of fun shooting that movie, but it's just uh, going to see that with a, with a, a group of, what was I? I was actually, I was, I'd been back in Canada. I was living in LA and I went back to Canada to wait for a work visa to work on a film called The Cellular. Uh, that David Ellis, the director of Final Destination, was directing. And then he it was another New Line movie. And uh, I was waiting for my visa. And then House of the Dead came out. And I went with, I grew up in Toronto, a bunch of my friends to go see it. And I, I wanted, I literally, I, I, my, my friends were laughing at me. And I was, I wanted to disappear. And then that Monday... I lost the cellular because my visa didn't come out in time. It was like, I, it was a, it was an awful week of my life. Yeah. Crazy. But anyway, I love House of the Dead now. I couldn't watch it. It was a comedy. <laughs> People didn't understand that we were making a comedy. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like, I mean, I love the movie, but it's kind of like. No, you don't love the movie. You know? <laughs> no, 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 I was talking about a uh, rich Return of the Living Dead. It's it's like I I love Return of the Living Dead, but it's very comedic too. Um, yeah. and I love Tom Matthew. So um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I I I enjoy the cheesiness in a lot of like movies. Like I'm I'm all about like I love my serious horror, but I definitely love ones that I can get a good laugh out of too. Um, I mean, I'm I'm a comedy guy. I'll tell you about, what happened. With, with House of the Dead, I'll tell you what happened is the direct, the writers wrote, um, and I feel like they sort of blamed me, which, you know, whatever, but they wrote a comedy and I'm a, I'm a comedy guy. Like I, I do, I'm, I'm a comedy guy. I like comedy. Uh, and I was funny in Final Destination and yeah. um, the script was written like, I, like a Bruce Campbell character. Okay. Like, you know, and at the time they say, hey, it kind of looks like a young Bruce Campbell. Like that's what the writers thought. And they're like, okay, yeah. And he'll, he'll deliver the jokes and stuff. And, but Uva, the director wanted to make something because they had a really decent budget, something serious. As he said to me, saving private zombie is what he was trying to make. <laughs> and, uh, and it was just in total, I think it was in total contrast to what the writers wanted to do. And I had to follow, you know, okay and you you think i'm an action like a okay let's go but yeah it should have been funny and it wasn't because we didn't play the jokes it was they were all omitted from the script oh shoot 
Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but not to like try to segue away, but you 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 had brought up the um, dark match. Could you tell us a little bit about about the premise of dark match? Oh, I thought you wanted to talk about House of the Dead some more. Are you, you're done. You're, you want to talk about? <laughs> you didn't. You didn't bring me on here to talk about House of the Dead. I thought that's what you, you, <laughs> your people want to hear. They want to know. <laughs> I don't. I'm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm. I'm totally like blocking you guys from from the from the good stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, dark match. Uh, what do you want to know? We just finished. Yeah. Um. Kind of like so. What kind of like a summary? Like what? What's the movie supposed to be about? So it's it's uh, it is a horror thriller that takes place in the world of 80s amateur wrestling. Huh. That's like that's uh actually this I wore this in the movie. This is my one and this mullet was part of my huh. uh I I just finished. We just wrapped and I came to Florida. Um but uh yeah, my character uh wore this and it was my one souvenir and I haven't taken it off. I'm going to I wear bolo ties now. Hey Hey, I was I gonna say it. you're rocking you're rocking the bolo tie. I noticed that as soon as you got on, I was like, I'm like people okay. notice it. I you know, I'm just it's an experiment, but people really notice it and I and they have feelings about it. And often the feeling <laughs> is I feel like dudes are like, I should wear a bolo tie. That's that that's the vibe I'm getting. Uh but um yeah, so uh I play uh uh Rusty Beans is my character. And I am the the promoter, ring announcer. Uh, I can't say too much. I don't want to give away too much. Uh, yeah. Manager uh, of uh, of SAW, the stars of amateur wrestling. And uh, we got Stephen Ogg is in it. Uh, you know who that is? The name sounds familiar, but it's not ringing a bell. I'm Walking Dead. Um, uh, uh, he's Trev from Grand Theft Auto, and so people seem to. Okay, that 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 brings Trev on too. Yeah, like um, Michael Eklund is in it. Chris Jericho. Um, um, Aisa Isa, and uh, Sarah Canning from Vampire Diaries. Uh, Mike Eklund, who am I forgetting? And Lowell Dean, who I've worked with. It's my fourth movie with him. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, we did the Wolf Cop movies. We did another one called Super Grid, which is like a post, like a really low budget post apocalyptic thing. And then this, um, but I think this is the best one yet. I'm really, really excited about it. I really hope it comes together. We just yeah, uh, we shot out in Edmonton for six weeks. Oh wow! It, end of November, December. It was freezing, um, and it was. But it's a brand new studio called Department Nine Studios. We were their first film. Um, they're basically uh, in Canada. They shoot a ton in Calgary, and nothing in northern Alberta, Edmonton. And they're trying to bring film back there, so they picked us to, you know, nice. to launch the, to launch the studio. And I I I think it's going to be great. I really do. That that sounds exciting. I mean, growing up, I even had like these gigantic like stuffed. Hulk Hogan and like Rey Mysterio dolls. <laughs> like, yeah. like they were like, yeah, yeah, them. same. Um, so so basically, where all those guys came from, like, um, and I'm now it's super into wrestling. They all, uh, Bret Hart, Bret the Hitman Hart, okay. uh, his, oh, Mo Jabari is his protege. He's in the movie. Bret Hart lives in Calgary. All of these guys from that era came through something called Stampede Wrestling, which was like an eight, like uh, before the WWF at the time took off, there were just regional wrestling places. There was like the Southeast and there was Florida, there was Montreal, Calgary, Edmond, Alberta. Um, you know, there were little, there were these pockets, but the, the big one was Stampede Wrestling. Jim the Anvil Neidhart, uh, the British Bulldogs came from from Stampede Wrestling, uh, Brett, the Hart, the Hart brothers, and whatever, all these guys. Yeah. So there's like a real wrestling culture there. Um, 
and you can imagine, you know, the whole thing with wrestling's fake. And then but what happens when wrestling turns real is basically, oh, that's a good tagline. What happens when wrestling turns real? <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, yeah. And so you were born in Montreal, right? I was. Nice. Heck yeah. I have a, my, one of my best friends is, uh, he was born and raised in Kelowna. Yeah, I just shot a movie in Kelowna last year. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, I haven't been to Canada yet. I've been wanting to. I, it's only like a few hours to... You're right know, there. I'm right there. I'm like up here in the, the northeast corner of Washington. And like I'm like, I could just take a few hours and go to Canada. Why not? Like I, I don't know what's holding back. <laughs> Do it. That's where we shot. Right, A few hours from you is where we shot Final Destination. Crazy. All of the final destinations were shot in Vancouver. Oh, wow. That's, that's all of cool. them. Yeah. And you know what else I, was shot there? I'm about what? to blow your mind. Those are the dead, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know all those movies were shot there. That's, that's good to know. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I love, I love knowing like where like, you know, because like I grew up in Washington and I've, I've traveled a lot to like Oregon and stuff. And like, you know, there's some movies that were shot in Oregon that I really love, like, you know, Goonies and like Goonies. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Kindergarten Cop. And uh, yeah, Kindergarten Cop with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, that was shot in uh, Portland. Uh, I don't know. I, I love uh So I grew up like across the bridge in Portland, Oregon. Uh, was where I was born and uh, uh, I used to always go to like because the Goonies was shot in Astoria um, yeah. and I used to always go by there all the time going to the beach and I don't know it's cool knowing that stuff like is not so far away that I could go visit like you know these mm-hmm. places that movies were shot so I'll have to make that like a to-do list <laughs> to, go to, to go to Vancouver what else um, shot in Vancouver I mean so much shoots in Vancouver like, so much um, there was a time in the early 2000s, eh, sort of till now, where a majority of the things that were shot were shot in Vancouver. Like all of Hollywood was in Vancouver. Supernatural shoots in Vancouver. I shot that there. Um, I, mean, I mean, there's so much. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Um, mm. I just, you know, I, I had thrown together some questions for you here. Um, what first like what first got you into the horror were you like did you grow up loving horror before you did any horror movie so everyone always asks me this uh (laughs) i i I wish i was like i had some answer like my dreams came true because i always wanted to be in horror (laughs) movies and i grew up uh, idolizing wes craven and you know um (laughs) they're they're the parts that i got you know like i was a young uh, handsome fella and the auditions that I got were uh, you know like a uh, cool stoner guy in Final Destination because I also auditioned for Smallville or this or that or whatever but they t- they picked me but I did like horror I liked Nightmare on Elm Street and stuff like that and um, Jaws was like my f- Jaws was like my favorite movie growing up um, but you know I also loved Grease so you know, just, right, right, they, yeah. they picked me um that's that's what's available for a, a guy in his young tw- early 20s uh in the early 2000s you know to to launch yeah i mean it makes yeah. sense like look at all the other actors too that got their starts like kevin bacon you know kevin and john Depp, and uh you know yeah. jennifer Aniston and leprechaun they all kind of got like started in horror but that's not where they really wanted to be you know <laughs> Devin Sawa in the first final destination like that 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 carries him yeah I then I I know and I just watched recently he did like I mean he's been doing Chucky and then like uh also uh Black Friday with Bruce Campbell um mm-hmm. too so he's kind of he's kind of been in there still uh idle hands he's making I mean, a come yeah I love oh I was in love with Jessica Alba. Just, even just from the, give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I know. I, I don't. I. I. I've always had a crush on her too. Even when. Even as she got like older and did like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and like. Uh, like the Blade movie, Blade Trinity with Ryan Reynolds. I like. 
I thought she was smoking. <laughs> she, uh, yeah. She, she was a babe. She was gorgeous. I was um I was almost well, whatever. It's not interesting. I gotta I gotta I gotta learn that it's not interesting that I was almost in conversation. But uh I was very close to being in that Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think that's the one with her. Was she in the one with Jessica Beale? Oh, am I thinking of? Or I think you're talking about Jessica Beale, but that's the one that I was uh, almost in. Yeah. Oh God! I was. Uh, I just Alpha. finished Final Destination, and I was buying a car to drive down to Los Angeles because I didn't own a car at the time. And my manager called me. He said, "Where are you?" I said, "Because <laughs> uh, I had like a deal at New Line." cinema like they were going to put me in another movie or i don't know exactly and and uh so where are you I said uh, i'm buying a car boss i'm coming i'm coming there to be you know <laughs> uh because he originally had told me at the time he goes listen don't blow your money just buy something what to get you down here and then within a year or two years you buy whatever car you want said, okay i'll buy a you know a, ho a hoopty and uh and he goes don't buy the car. I said, why? Because I think I've got an offer for New Line's going to put you in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I said, don't buy that car. <laughs> like, give me a sec. Like, you can buy the other car or <laughs> whatever. And then it didn't happen. Oh, shoot. Yeah. 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 And I bought Dang. the band. And, I, and I, I, but I bought the, I bought the fancy car. Nice. What, what'd yeah. you end up, what, what car did you end up getting? I don't want to talk about it. It's just, it's just, it's just bad. It's just bad. <laughs> um, so, you know, what is what is one one role that you've always wanted to play but you've never been cast in? Hmm. A role that I've always wanted. To. That's a good question. Um, yeah, I try to throw some curveballs in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like the kind of things that like Paul Rudd does. I really like okay. Paul Rudd. I like the roles he plays. And they're all not the same. I shouldn't say that. But like the guy that he kind of plays, I, I really like those kind of characters. Like I love you, man, or. Or you know whatever, uh, but the the oh, one yeah. thing that I read for a lot that I never get um, is like the bad undercover detective guys. I read for those all the time. You know, like uh, the like what's his name? Perfect, uh, perfect example. Remember the show, The Killing, The Killing on AMC. That. that Sounds familiar. The, the actor is like this Swedish guy. I forgot his name. I think he's Norwegian or Swedish. Uh, oh. He played RoboCop. He, um, oh my God, what's his name? I'm blanking on his name. But that role in The Killing, I, I always watched that and I always thought that I, I could, I, would, I, I thought, like he was amazing. I don't think, I'm not saying I would have been better than him or even close to it, but that I would bring something cool to that yeah. kind of thing, you know? Um, yeah, I could yeah. say, I could say that. Too. Yeah, that's 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 my that's my current answer to that question. I've also always wanted to be in a in a movie that had a funny dance scene. I really, you know, there's this Wednesday oh Adams thing that's trending right now. This Wednesday yeah, Adams dance that. thing that's everywhere. Yeah, I I whenever that's in a movie, like Sean did it in Amer Scott in American Pie Three, the funny dance off scene. I think oh, I would thrive in a funny dance-off scene in a movie. <laughs> I love that when that's in a movie, it, I, it's, it's, it always is a hit. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, like, now you got me picturing that whole scene from American Wedding, like, with when they're, they're looking for the dressmaker, and he's just like, like, he's like, oh, yeah? Like, and he just starts, like, going in this dance-off with that guy. That was, that, Sean, was yeah. <laughs> that was an epic scene. Um, yeah. I could okay. I could see that. I like I said, I could see you. I could see you as a gritty cop. I could, I could picture it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know why you haven't landed that? That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Um. So, kind of circling back, you know, with Goon and everything we talked about earlier, 
before that movie, did you ever play hockey at all or no? Just went no. right into it? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, um, funny story, they were worried about my hockey ability. Um, growing up in Canada, you'd think I was, I skated when I was a kid, but I was a basketball guy, skiing and basketball or snowboarding and that, um, tennis kind of, but, uh, yeah, I, I hadn't skated and they got me all kitted up in the goalie gear and the producers who were friends of mine were gathered around like low key, not to make me nervous. Is he okay skating? Cause I went a couple times like before I left and I looked like a deer on ice, like it was bad. And, uh, I was sort of fine. And then as soon as they said, is he okay? Is he okay? They looked at me and I slipped on the banana and went, Foom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so in the first movie, I ended up getting okay at that. I ended up getting good. Are you a hockey fan or no? Yeah, I love watching hockey. Uh, I actually, my favorite team is the Minnesota Wild. Okay, so there's there's things that goalies do called like, um, what's it? Uh, uh, butterfly guard and shit. I'm forgetting all the names now. Like in the, so in the first goon, I, I was picking up on those things. I begged to be able to try to save something on camera. So the director gave me a shot and it was, <laughs> no, we have a stunt double because I'm wearing a mask. So it's easy for them to put a stunt guy in there to, to do the goalie stuff. Uh, so I didn't but, do much hockey playing in the movies um, okay. in the good movies. But the second one, I, was, I think I was much better. And I think I might have gotten to be in net for a couple of uh, couple, couple of uh, shots of hockey shots i believe I, I believe but not not much in the first one and no dance long answer is i did not play hockey okay and i don't now that's cool you know trial by fire right um yeah and you know with with all the movies that you've done and that you're doing do you have any like memory that that has been like favorite memory working on any set Uh, hmm. Favorite memory on any? I mean, I just had one. Um, Steve Ogg and I spent the day in a, in this crappy '80s van that I I had to drive in this movie I just did. Uh where it had no carburetor it was minus 30 um we're dressed like it's not minus 30 uh and we're just back and forth and i had to feather the brake and the gas to drive this thing and also they hadn't changed the tires on this thing since the 80s either so we're sliding all over the road but uh it was just one of those days where it's like you, know, you get real intimate not you know but like you get to know someone, you spend the whole day in the car and we just laughed all day. Uh, maybe the fumes from the, the car as well were doing it to us, but we just had the most, most fun. Um, and then another one is, it's funny that I, I just talked to somebody about this. I did this really bad, like whatever movie uh, in Squamish, British Columbia, like 15 years ago that no one really saw uh, with Jennifer Tilly and uh, uh, oh. Dave Thomas from SCTV. And, you know, um, anyway, it was just, we all, it was a small movie and wrote a romantic comedy. Uh, I forgot what the name ended up being. It started out, it was called Deluxe Combo Platter. And then they changed the name, I think. But uh, we all stayed in this bed and breakfast in Squamish, which is this beautiful little town, mountain town in British Columbia. And we were just all put together in this space, you know, and we'd, we'd go shoot and then we'd be at the hotel and, you know, the, the, there was a pool table and whatever. And it was just a whole, I don't know. I, I was just talking to somebody who was a stand in in that movie who's now gone on. He has his own Netflix show. He's a, he's a chainsaw carver like artist um like he 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 makes sculptures as a well, like wood sculpting with a chainsaw this guy he was a stand in in that movie trying to be an actor his name's Ryan Cook and we just spoke recently the other day on social media 
reminiscing. I was like, that was that those that month was probably the most condensed fun I've ever had. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. Awesome. yeah. Yeah. I love making movies, man, especially on location when you leave to go make it. I've rarely actually made a movie where I've slept in my own bed. I seem to oh. always be, you know, out there in the yeah. yeah. Goon was fun. Goon that, one. That, Goon that, one that, was a lot of fun. Nice. Heck yeah. I, I I own Goon one. I don't think I have the second one, but I've seen the second one. I don't own it, but I own the first one on DVD. Um, the second one. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Second <laughs> one isn't my favorite. Um. So. I think I've covered most of what I wanted to ask. Um. Oh, okay. Here's another, like, uh, kind of a general one. Um, if you could work with a shit, I lost you. Hold on here. Hold on. <laughs> there we are. If if I can work with who? Uh, if you could work with any director, living or, or deceased, um, what, what director have you always wanted to work with? Tarantino. Nice. Tarantino. I mean, I mean, Scorsese, Spielberg. I, I don't have a, like, a, I also love Martin, uh, uh, Martin McDonough. I love In Bruges. I love In Bruges. Um, Seven Psychopaths, I think, is so fun. But uh, Tarantino. Spielberg, but Tarantino, Tarantino, or yeah, I think Tarantino was one, and then there's like Spielberg and Scorsese, just because you know, yeah, obvious reasons. Enter Tarantino's obvious reason too, and I think uh, I love Martin McDonough. I also love this comedy director um, Hamburg. What's his name? John Hamburg. Okay. Um, he directed I Love You, Man, and he I think he wrote the second Meet the Parents. I just think his movies are 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 so funny. I, I just, I, 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 could, I think I could say his lines. Like I, uh, yeah. I, 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 I'm in that rhythm, but uh, yeah, Tarantino, man. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's soul crush. And apparently he was a big fan of Final Destination 2. He went up to that director um, who was close. He ended up directing Snakes on a Plane, uh, which <laughs> shot in Vancouver and, I was maybe going to be in, but uh, Sam Jackson, I guess he's close with Sam Jackson. Uh, but I don't know, something happened where they, he, Tarantino went up to him and, and said what a, how much he liked. This is what I heard. I don't know that how much he liked. Maybe it was the car crash scene that he liked. There's something that he liked about Final Destination too, but it's but so, it, I'm not sure it's not me, but it's uh, in fact, later house of the dead opened in the same weekend as kill bill and i'm sure he was terrified of 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 what house of the dead was gonna was gonna uh <laughs> but but uh um yeah that he's only directing one more movie i is to me uh the worst news ever i have to get in that movie somehow i have to get in that movie you gotta like claw in their tooth the nail, man. You gotta Something, just go, man. I, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm only doing one more. That is insane. Like, I mean, I guess. Yeah. If I were you, I'd I'd just do whatever I could then to to make what that do happen. You do? <laughs> I mean, everyone everyone wants to work with him. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, he makes a lot of crazy films for sure. Um. I think my shot was in Glorious Bastards. That was my shot. You know, I could have been one of the bastards, maybe. I'm Jewish. I could have been one of the I could have been one of the the bastards. That was my shot. Shoot. Maybe they'll make a sequel. <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe we'll make a sequel. Let's make a sequel. Let's do it. Why not? I'll start working on the script right now. <laughs> Are you a writer? Uh, well, I've written more of like, I write novels, but like, I feel like I could easily transpose to writing scripts. I, I feel like I, I understand how they're, they're laid out, you know, like cut scene, mm -hmm. 
we come in on like a, a dim lit night in December. Like, I don't know. You could, we could figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. Yeah. Anti Semitism fueling the planet. One I mean, man, one Jew <laughs> stands to, to be above the rest. <laughs> one bolo tie, one mullet. <laughs> one Jew. The Nazis so, are back. So It'll let's be, hit up the. Let's, Let's hit up New Line. Me, me against <laughs> Kanye. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> the Twitter war of a century. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. No, that's awesome. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm coming around full circle here. Last question I'm going to throw out at you. I'm sure you've seen probably, you've probably seen all the other Final Destinations, right? Or most of them at least. Most no? of them, yeah. I think so. No, I've seen them. Okay. I think I've seen them. I saw three. I saw one before mine. Obviously, I saw mine. I saw the next one. Okay. I don't think I saw the fourth one, the race car one, but I saw the fifth one. Okay. Um, if, if you could pick, what would be your favorite kill out of any of those films? One that stood out to you that you were like, that was awesome. <laughs> the bus in number one. The boss hitting hitting the girl in number one. Oh yeah, when she's out in the street and she's like, "I'm done," like you know, like, and then like all of a sudden, <laughs> boom. That was epic. That was the first. Like they people copied that a lot. I think they even spoofed that in uh, Scary Movie. That death. I thought that was a great death. I thought that the tanning bed was super gnarly. Uh, oh yeah. You will not find me in a tanning bed anytime soon. I thought the dentist in mine oh, yeah. was pretty in number two. I thought my buddy, who I was actually talking to yesterday, the garburator, he didn't die from that, though. But the hand stuck in the garburator was so gnarly. Um, yeah. The guy that choking is- in the shower in number one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, first death of Final Destination. Um, that yeah I, what about you what's your favorite deaths in those movies you know if i was to pick one from like each like each one i think it'd be so final destination one i honestly i'm tied between either john's on's death with the like the train tracks or um also was it the the sign at the end of I talk the, about the sign. I talk about the sign in number two. Yeah. I would yeah. my character apparently was there. And then this yeah. dude gets hit by a falling sign. So it was Kerr <laughs> Smith. Yeah. Um my second one or the second movie. You know, like I thought yours was really gnarly, but I also really liked um oh god, like the elevator, the the mom getting her head stuck in the elevator and then they're like good. trying to like pull it in the guy with the hook and everything and like all the sudden man with hooks like, man with um, hooks <laughs> yeah <laughs> um three i think it would be the the guy pumping iron at the at the football camp and he's like keeps doing the reps and then like the swords come down i don't or, remember or that swords come down and then like the weights come down and smash his head in that was freaking <laughs> poorly i didn't see i don't remember that yeah, because I thought I thought the swords, because it kept focusing on the swords and they kept like shaking. I'm like, oh, dude's gonna get his like face swiped off or something. And then like they caught me off guard because then like the weights came down and like both sides of his head and just poo, just smushed him. Um and the fourth one, I think I can't remember much about the fourth one. I I think someone gets out- like something, someone gets killed in the audience, like something goes flying that's all i remember it goes flying into the the audience the fourth one is the same director as the is mine oh actually yeah david ellis i didn't know that that Um, the fifth one i think my favorite is like the the boss is like there when the bridge collapses that like it ends up being like the vision but like him, him getting like covered in like hot cement or tar or whatever and then he like falls off the bridge i thought that would have been just Oh, dude, I, I couldn't imagine just being burned alive. And then like, so, oh, yeah. dude, you got to go to Vancouver 
because that is a real bridge in Vancouver called the Lions Gate Bridge. Go drive across that bridge, you know. I, I, I yeah, that'd be awesome. Go do I, it, man. You, it, it sounds like something you'd be into. Yeah, yeah. No, that would be awesome. I like. I've been planning to go to Canada so many times. Like I said, I don't know what's stopping me. It's not that far away. It's not like driving across the United States or anything. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to make that happen. Go go on a trip with my wife, you know, have my my mother-in-law watch the baby and do just it. make it make a make a couple of days out of it. Do it. Heck yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking time to to talk Yeah, with you're me. welcome, man. You're welcome. Uh, this uh this means a lot to me. You know, I love getting to like pick your guys' brains a little bit, kind of, you know, live or experience things through through you guys like you know getting to see those polaroids was something i never expected but it was freaking awesome mm. like yeah that know. was yeah that's bonus me too it's awesome for me to relive it yesterday to be honest see, yeah. like seeing that my parents saved these yeah that is yeah. oh there you can see my legs <laughs> look jeez yeah that is freaking cool that movie magic bro movie magic yeah yeah <laughs> um but yeah i this was such a blast i i i hope i can talk to you again sometime in the future and maybe yeah man talk. of course stay in touch we'll talk about dark match when it comes out heck yeah that'd be rad well hey man i hope you really enjoy having uh spending some more time with your folks uh thank you uh have a just a, a great new year 2023 man let's uh yeah let's Let's make it the best year ever <laughs> for sure and uh and you know all the best with your baby man nice meeting you yeah thank you all right man talk to you later all right let me know when where i can watch this heck yeah i'll, I'll definitely i'll shoot you a message on instagram and i'll let you know before i drop it all right buddy all take right take care take care <laughs>